Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Omar and today I will show you how you can use the index function in Excel which returns a value in a certain location in an array or range. So let's see how we can do that. So I have this table showing some countries, their capital, population, and area. And I want to use the index function in order to find a value in a certain location of an array. So in this case, I want to find the value relative to the row and column that I will enter in the index function. So how I will use the index function? First of all, I will type equals index. And the index function takes three arguments. The first argument is the array. So the array is this table with its values. Then let's say I want to find the area of Lebanon. So now the row number. In my selected array, Lebanon is in row number one. So how do we count the rows? Let me show you before we continue with the index function. So since we are selecting this array, this will be row one, row two, row three, row four, row 5 and row 6 and row 7. So those are the row numbers and not the rows here in the Excel sheet. And for the columns, this is column 1, column 2, column 3 and column 4. Now with these numbers, it will help me to locate the area of Lebanon. So again, equals index. First, the array. Then the row number, it's row number 1, and then the column number, which is column number 4. And I'll press enter. So it will return the value of the cell in row 1 and column 4, which is the area of Lebanon, 10,452 kilometers square. But let's see what happens if we put 0 in the column number or in the row number. So equals index the array, I will select row number 1 and column 0, so I will get all the values in row number 1, which are here. And if I put equals index, I will select array, I will put row 0 and column 1, so it will return the values in column 1 for me, which are the names of the countries. So, if you don't want to select a specific cell, but instead a specific row or column, you will put 0 in the argument of the row or, or the column to return the full row or the full column. I hope this video helped you. Don't forget to like it and share it and subscribe to my channel.